I'll be replacing the old upper and lower radiator hoses with some new stainless ones from a kit. That should be enough material to make two hoses. I could measure and bend, but I'll, I'll take, take the old ones off and use that as a template. Maybe catch pan under for the coolant. That's going to be a little trickier to get to. Old hosers are off. I did a good job of catching the coolant. Now I'll get them to the operating table. Sadly, this kit's not going to work with the lower hose, but I'll clean it off and put it back on. Ready to go back on? First thing would be to loosen the clamps. 5 sixteenths is the magic number. I think these thin hoses will be enough. And I'll use the one that's already in here and I'll rub from another one since I won't be using the second set for the lower hose. And that's all set it up to the thin wall. Fits over. It's also the smallest size that'll fit over the radiator. Found the champion, now it's time to make it happen. Both are loaded with the thin wall hoses each side. sharper to mark where I want to cut it and the coupler is some of the length of the hose so about half the coupler which is about one of these sleeves so I'll want to cut it right around here Or if you're doing this, you might want to get these on 
or it'll be ready to slip on the other side. Makes it ready to slip right on. Ready to go in the car. There it is installed. Looks much better than the one before. I didn't have much clearance here. Enough material to make another hose. A few tips to make this install a little easier would be wetting the sleeves so the coupler can slip over it easier. Wear some gloves. So that can be dangerous if that slips while trying to get them couplers and sleeves over it. And a handsaw with a metal cutting blade should cut straight through this. I did manage to do it with scissors and it came out pretty clean.